the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. To bind the brokenhearted, to set the captives free, to deliver those who are oppressed, etc., etc. Are we together now? Yes. It says to give them beauty for ashes, the joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. It says that they be called the oaks or trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. John chapter 15 and verse 8. Herein is our father glorified, the Bible says, when ye bear much fruit. Please say results. Shout it please. Say results. You must, you, I, I want to challenge you as we wrap up this conference and, and this, this moment of spiritual emphasis. You must cry for supernatural results. There, there's too much, there's too much of natural things. It, 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 it must, people will only wonder if it is the Lord's doing. Supernatural dimensions. These things I write unto you, O excellent Theophilus, of all that Jesus began to do and teach. Not teach alone. Do and teach. Let the sick be healed in a level and dimension that dumbfounds principalities and powers. Did the Bible not say we are his workmanship? Not just his explanators. We are his workmanship recreated in Christ. The Bible says that it be known to principalities and powers by the ecclesia, the church, the manifold wisdom. The Holy Spirit can empower. He can place something upon your life that commands favor from everywhere. And now people begin to wonder and say, how do you do it? And then you lead them to the Christ, the giver of all good things. Listen to me. Don't leave this service this afternoon without contending for higher dimensions of the empowerment of the Spirit. Micah chapter 3 and verse 8, please. I'd like you to read the A part when you find it projected. Micah chapter 3 and verse 8. Go ahead. One to go. I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. I am full of power. You can be full of power by the operations of a herbalist. You can be full of power by the, the stretch of your intellect. But the basis of the power that I sustain comes from the Spirit. The Spirit is the custodian of the power of God. I am full of power by the Spirit. It takes the power of God to dominate in this wicked world. 66 and verse 3 Psalms. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you. It takes power. The Bible says grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of our God and, and so on and so forth. And then it says he according as his divine power. Everybody say his divine power. Your faith connects you to his divine power. But the giver of the possibilities in your life is his divine power. Hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. The power of the Holy Spirit. It's not a, a Pentecostal gibberish that people talk just because they are charismatic. No, the power of the Holy Spirit is God's ability at work in a man. The fortitude to produce God's dimension of results even though you are a man. Let the ability of the Holy Spirit come upon you. And then it begins to define all the possibilities that are in your life. Listen, I've shared it here, I think, um, maybe last year or so. But let me tell you this, brothers and sisters, please hear me. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is in levels. And the anointing of the Holy Spirit is also dimensional. Just because you have an anointing does not mean every problem will be solved. No. 
the problems are solved according to the measure of grace that is received otherwise there would be no need for further impartations the bible tells us in acts chapter 10 and verse 38 are we still here it says how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power the key word there is how god look at the extent to which god anointed jesus not that he was anointed he was so anointed with the holy ghost and with power and he went about doing good and healing all day that were oppressed of the devil because god was with him it takes the empowerment of the holy spirit to excel in business it takes the empowerment of the Holy Spirit to excel in career, ministry. Your church today is an attestation of the investment of the Spirit and His power upon your pastor and upon your leaders. Nicodemus comes to Jesus by night and says, Rabbi, I know that thou art a man sent from God, he says, for no man can do these things except God be with him. There are tokens of the presence of God with a man that when God is with you, it is important possible to doubt it because he will leave tokens the signs the wonders the supernatural manifestations of the power of god we must return to a dimension where our lives are supernatural always how you get your job how you are promoted how you are sustained how you move in one day someone's one year testimony comes to you it's a dimension listen god is not just interested in making us have and make progress he wants to make a message out of our lives he calls us living epistles if all people know about you is you made money you move forward you are a christian your life is not compelling enough to bring glory to god how it happens is where the glory is derived from oh you got a job by an uncle helping you it's too natural for an applause but that you were sitting and an angel told someone give him a job now god is not interested in the job as it were the job is yours is your benefit but the testimony how it was derived is where the majesty and the might of god comes are we together now i worked for 20 years and then i built a great duplex it's too natural we just say well done you are a human being who used your time well But when someone is sleeping and sees you in a vision and God says, don't tell him, build the house. I want to use him as an example of what we call prepared blessings. Build the house, give him the key because the master has need of it. This is what the grace of God can do. The grace of God is not limited to salvation. The grace of God is how we live. The grace of God is a representation of every good and perfect gift that comes from above. It's a compendium of all the possibilities in God routed through the Christ to the saints. It's called grace. It's not just limited to the, the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ. That's just a dimension of grace. Favor is grace. Mercy is grace. Speed is grace. We're going to pray. It's important that we carry something upon our lives. It's been my message for the body of Christ for many years. Embrace the ministry of the Holy Spirit and he will turn your life into a sign and a wonder. Do not embrace him when you find out you are called into ministry. No. Embrace him the day you realize you are a man. He is the life-giving factor. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life will change. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. Listen, history is full of people who were mightily used by the Holy Ghost. My brothers and my sisters, I bring you the ministry of the Holy Spirit. This is not a preacher's sermon. This is a revelation. 
edit difficulty out of your life edit confusion in your life out of your life by embracing this mysterious personality he can empower you he can place something upon your life you were not born with he can place something upon your life that is not on your degree he can place something upon your life that your background did not capture he is called the holy ghost the spirit of power the spirit of grace When he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide. He will reveal. Look at me, please. We are going to pray. Let me show you a scripture God showed me. Mighty God. Second Corinthians, please. Chapter 9 and verse 8. Haruskali brandaskila hashibar hashibada. And God, H-I-C-C, and God has an ability to make all grace. Listen carefully. Please listen to me. I want you to be sensitive. I'm seeing a wind. Just move. I'm going to pray for you shortly. Please, guys, let's, the instrumentalists, you can just walk together. Listen to me. Every dimension in the spirit, please look up. There is a grace allocated for that possibility. There is a grace that produces speed. Please listen. There is a grace that produces restoration. There is a grace that produces favor. You are not favored because you are in need. No. There is a grace upon you. Please listen to me. I know what I'm saying. There is a grace that compels a generation to hear your voice just because you have what to say does not mean people will listen to you there is a there is a hear ye him anointing that when it's upon you you will open the two lift gates of territories not cities not churches because of the ointment so do the virgins love thee he was not talking about women virgin dimensions that you are introducing to spaces you have never been because of something that is upon your head thou anointest my cup my head with oil my cup runneth over are we together now you must covet listen you cannot walk in the grace of yesterday and have today's results no 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 yesterday's grace was sufficient for yesterday's issues remember the bible is talking about us being sufficient capable rising up to the task and the bible says the mechanism by which this is achieved is that god is able to coordinate the various graces that the prophetic word upon you require if god says this is your year of expansion and vision there are certain graces that must be present otherwise december 31st will come and that word will not be there and the bible says in such a conference god is able to coordinate all grace some of you will need speed some of you will need restoration some of you will need prosperity you will need favor the bible says god is able able to make all grace abound towards you that ye having all sufficiency may abound to all good works listen to me results in this kingdom are not commanded by intentions alone results in this kingdom are not even commanded by the proposition linguistic propositions it takes the energizing of the spirit to prove the reality of the Christ to all and sundry here and now by this you bring glory to the Christ then you make Galatians 1 24 become a reality and they glorified God in me and they glorified God my life has become an effulgence you will say of signs and wonders next time you read the Bible you are reading yourself it's no longer a book that was printed by Zondervan or White Taker House. It has become your experience. And the hand of the Lord came upon um, Elijah 
and he ran so speed is possible lord where is that grace and god is able to make all grace including that grace to rest upon you that by march you have already done what you plan to do 2025 it's over already please listen i'm not i'm not just motivating you this is spirit communication god is able you're a businessman you will be tired of just using the strength of the flesh to draw people the same grace that brought the animals into the ark of noah there is a grace that draws men into the ark noah just stood at the ark and a, a strange grace drew the animals two by two seven by seven till they came into the ark when that grace rests upon your business you will marvel and wonder at the things that men do for you listen listen loyalty is more than just a leadership principle loyalty is a grace there is a grace that comes upon you the bible says certain men came to david in the cave of adulam and they vowed that they will make him king they came and made a weak leader a leader who was in hiding and yet his weakness was not a factor they said we will save you we will lift you and you will rule over us the possibilities that we desire are governed by graces please listen to me it is in the office of the holy spirit to bring prophecy to pass the holy spirit is the spirit of god that proceeds forth when his word comes it coordinates all the human machineries to see to it that the speakings of god comes to pass it does not just happen by luck i'm explaining this to you so that when your life becomes an effulgence of signs and wonders you will give god glory but not be surprised because it can happen again and again that means when you leave this service and you see 10 missed calls and someone is saying where are you what i want to give you i cannot i i need you to be there and you say what is it and then he reminds you that you just carried something you did not come to church with a, a an engracing of the spirit listen to me all things are possible but not under every condition there is a condition that manipulates favor above you there is a condition that will compel a generation to hear you there is a condition that will compel wealth and abundance will make psalm 112 a reality in your life blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands the bible declares that his seed shall be mighty upon earth then it says the generation of the upright shall be blessed he says wealth and riches shall be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever there is a grace that is responsible for that there is a grace that opens your eyes to scripture ephesians chapter 3 and verse 8 and 9 the grace that makes all men see there is a grace that opens the eyes of men to see Habakkuk said I will stand upon my watch and set myself upon the tower that I will see what he will say to me so as we pray I know that our time is spent but we're going to have a minute or two to pray and in that prayer you are going to cry out for the various graces that control possibilities that are not yet at work in your life listen to me when it was time the Bible says that God mandated Moses to anoint Aaron. Listen, and he says it in a very interesting way. He says that Aaron was full of the Spirit of God. And yet, he told Moses to anoint Aaron and to take some of his honor and give Aaron. Honor is transferable. When the grace for honor is upon you, people will veto your limitations as though it does not exist. Are we together? for your ministry i believe there are men and women of god around and watching for your business for your life listen father all the graces that must be coordinated synergized galvanized around my life in this season to make my life an effulgence a revelation of prophecy a reflection of the possibilities that reside in the christ i obtain by faith lift your voice and pray someone is praying here you're about to encounter a grace that will shift you into realms untold, dimensions beyond your imagination.
Please pray. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. My life must change. It's my prophecy. My life must change. Ah. My life must change. And he measured a thousand cubits. And it was a river to my knees. And he measured a thousand cubits. And it was to my loins. And he measured a thousand cubits. And it was an overflowing river. HICC pray on these 21 days all through this time words have come but on the 21st day oh God let something rest upon my life and upon my destiny shift my life shift my finances hallelujah hallelujah please look at me we're rounding up one scripture and then i pray for you and we're done john chapter 17 from verse 1 jesus is praying to the father before he would begin the journey of his passion and the bible says that he lifted up his eyes to the heavens and he said the hour is come everybody said the hour is come so there is a timing for every season in our lives you must know when not just the time but the hour he says thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time the time to favor her yea the kairos time is come it says glorify thy son that thy son may bring glory to you that means lord use me as a trophy to attract men to you use me as a testament of wonder my life is that available to be a revelation they may not understand your speakings from the realm of the spirit but let me be a manifestation of your possibilities in ministry in life and i vow that through that you will be glorified someone lift your voice and pray i'm available oh god to be used as an instrument for signs and wonders i'm available oh god to be used as a conduit of your power pray for your family pray for your ministry hallelujah hallelujah now listen please listen please look up i admit to you and i submit to you that outside of the grace of god and the investment of the spirit we are not worth much the wow factor in our lives is captured in the weightiness of the graces that surround us this is what translates us into spectacular individuals that on our own there is not much to be desired on our own by our strength we we are not worth that degree of admiration except that at the back of our frailty is a support system a compendium of graces that can afford possibilities higher than the realm of men this must be your desire behind frail men behind limited men the workings of the spirit turning ordinary men to manifest godlike features and so you must pray that as he rests his hand upon you in the few minutes we have lord let what comes upon me grant me the grace to prove let me be able to prove the validity of your faithfulness hallelujah 
this is why I came to be an extension by the spirit to sponsor and allow the transference of possibilities in our lives hallelujah please lend me five minutes and I'm done praise the Lord young lady look at me this lady I'm seeing the hand of God come upon you right now there is a very strong anointing and the Lord is saying that he's bringing you to realms of visions great visions in the spirit I release that grace upon you in the name of Jesus the Christ of God now I want to pray for you is it all right if we just pray five minutes please lift your hands let's pray impartation is a transference of possibilities you can have something you did not come to church with in addition to all the graces and the investment of the spirit deposited upon you you can carry things graces possibilities and creation was mandated to answer you based on the grace that you carry every grace has a voice it calls what it was designed to call when you carry the grace that makes for favor it will go around lagos while you are sleeping and attract the possibilities that make for you to be a testament on that wise hallelujah hallelujah i stretch my hands we may not have time to bring people out but let me just pray my god i want to release the grace for speed there is a real grace for speed that can cause people to step into dimensions in a hurry i stretch my hands at the count of three from the front to the back the left to the right help them please in the name of jesus the christ of god take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now speed to your destiny in the name of jesus receive the grace for speed by the power of the holy ghost I declare that you will run and overtake the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. Speed in business. You are in ministry here. Receive speed. In the name of Jesus, receive speed. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the number 17. There is a healing anointing. A strange grace for the healing ministry right now is coming on them. I wish this time would have brought them forth here because I need to pray for them. Right now I stretch my hands. That healing grace please help me in the name of Jesus grace for healing grace for healing carry that grace now it's coming on women it's coming on men please help them in the name of Jesus help that lady I release that grace step into it dimensions of the power of God to heal dimensions of the power of God to save take that grace now you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change my friend look at me this young man on white take that grace right now by the power of the holy ghost you are stepping into a new dimension of grace and the lord is saying you will never never be weak again your inner man being strengthened by the spirit the lord is bringing this woman i don't know who she is a mighty grace for healing this is what i'm seeing the grace of God is upon you I release that grace upon you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord wants me to release a grace that makes for restoration there are people here who have lost money there are people here who have lost things please believe it and receive it in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I declare between now and March by reason of this grace that comes on you I prophesy restoration restoration of time restoration of resources restoration of relationships hallelujah praise the lord the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing an eagle every time i see an eagle is a prophetic dimension of the spirit this is not for everyone but right now the power of god is coming i'm seeing 19 the number 19 19 people lord where are they from the front to the back i open up prophetic wells and i declare step into that dimension now shake it take it take it up step into that dimension spring up all wells wells of the prophetic upon women upon men i prophesy by the god of heaven the eyes that see the ears that hear i activate it by the spirit
Kaparus Kali Karandashia, Ebrekete Zeketa, visions of the night, visions of the day, in the name of Jesus, sustain an intelligence of the spirit. My friend, look at me, this man. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing an anointing. And the Lord is saying he's moving you to new dimensions in the spirit. Take that fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So in the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone who labors in doctrine and the word. Ministering the purposes of the spirit. Carry fire right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Spiritual illumination. Access to light. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray favor upon your life. We cannot close this conference without favor. Look at me my brothers and my sisters. I plead with you and I beseech you as the apostle will say. To obtain and receive this grace. The favor of God is a wonder and a marvel that will take us eternity to study. The possibilities that can be programmed upon the life of an individual. The favor of God projects his jealousy towards you. And he will compel everything to reflect Christ. The favor of God is real. The heart of every man is at the mercy of the father of spirits. God himself being the father of spirits he can compel in one day the attention of kings towards you is part of his system of coordinating all grace towards you because many of us have been limited and territorially speaking many of us come from regions where we do not have a territorial advantage you must outsource your intelligence and advantage from God's favor provision I pray for you right now Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. If it's projected, please give it to us. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked at her. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. It says, and Esther obtained favor in the what? Favor works with sight. When favor is upon you, the only person who cannot bless you is a blind man. For as long as they can see you, it is, is light through perception. The moment they see you, they are compelled. It's an ability of the spirit you cannot explain. In the name of Jesus, may that grace that compel men to bless you, to be interested in your lifting, let it rest upon you in Jesus' name. Let it rest upon you in Jesus' name. Let it rest upon you in Jesus' name. Finally, the Bible says, please listen to me. It says, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. A new year and a new season is God's mercy system to help you forget yesterday. Because yesterday may come with its strategies, its pain, its losses, and all the disappointment and the ills. And so he separates your yesterday and your tomorrow by using a mystery called today. Today becomes the dividing line that separates it hither and tither and grants you an opportunity to start afresh again. But if the grace of God does not rest upon your today, your today will become like yesterday. Because yesterday seeks to relieve itself. Yesterday does not believe it is dead. So it uses your imagination to come back to life. You will need an anointing that crushes yesterday to be gone and to be gone forever. It was Miriam that sang and said, I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its rider, my yesterday has been thrown into the sea. Are we blessed? In the name of Jesus, the grace to start afresh. I'm speaking prophetically to someone. The business didn't go well in 2019. 
the family didn't go well your plans didn't work out as planned in the name of Jesus we are 2020 for you in addition to it being a year of visions and expansion let it be a year of speed let it be a year of recovery let it be a year of power let it be a year of new beginnings a new cycle of possibilities in the mighty name of Jesus look at me when the Lord caused Cain Cain looked at God and said the penalty and the cause upon me is too grievous everybody who sees me will kill me and God put a mark of exemption upon Cain and he said by that mark no one should touch him the Bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong yea he reproved kings for their sake saying in spite of the evil that is plaguing society kidnappings accidents rumors of wars by the Spirit of God I place a mark upon you and I call it a mark of exemption I place it upon your family I call it a mark of exemption exemption from tragedy exemption from failure exemption from limitations in the name of Jesus Christ for you this year let it be that when men say there is a casting down let your testimony alongside everyone connected to this family let it be that there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus I bless all the workers in this ministry rise to new dimensions I bless the leaders and the pastorate in this ministry rise to new dimensions in the name of Jesus hallelujah we had a brief session with your pastor this morning and he was asking me a few questions what I saw God doing in the church and I we spoke a few things it was on stage so I can say it now I told him that I saw God bringing a new and a fresh anointing dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.